Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I'm giving away this uh, geometry nodes road generator uh, that I've just made. Uh, let me show you how it works. And uh, if you want to download it, links are in the description. I uh, will you will find it on uh, my page or on my website, Blender Everything. I uh, just go to the free geometry nodes section, which is a new section I've added to the website because I, I'm planning on making more setups uh, for you guys. Uh, in this setup, uh, let me just break it down for you. You have a road generator like this. And the way it works, it works in cycles and EV, as you can see, let me switch to uh, cycles for a moment here. Cycles. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just increase the samples here so that uh, we can navigate quite easily. Yeah, you can see the road there uh, let me go here for preview so you can switch between uh the asphalt or a dirt road if you go to the uh geometry nodes uh, sorry the modifiers you can see how the mod the, the setup this is set up uh, you can change uh, the path uh the path resolution and uh, just let me just see you can see it's just adding let me just show you uh the wireframe here Turn on uh, flood, yeah. As you can see, what it's doing there, it's just adding more geometry. In case uh, this doesn't have enough geometry, you can use uh, the path resolution to add more geometry like that. Uh, is oh, you can also add geometry in the x axis, uh, but uh, you can control the width. I mean, first turn off. Uh, this uh, this mouth borders because I kind of moving my cursor to a different PC. Okay, so so yeah, you can scale the width. You can uh, you see we have some rocks. Let me just scale them up so that uh, you can see them more clearly. Yeah, you have rocks like that. You can uh, change their rotation or reduce their density let's try a hundred or you can switch them off completely so that uh, you don't have to see them and then we have uh, this grass you can also switch it on or switch it off and the uh, same you can control the density so let's try 1000 and see how much grass you have let me just first turn off the ambient occlusion uh, let me just do this in cycles just to show you how that looks okay so because the path the grass uses uh, a plane with a grass texture or an alpha texture you might find that uh, your samples if you go to light path are too low for you to render the grass correctly you might start to see dark areas and that's because your grass your light path transparent transparency samples are down or bounces are, are down so if you have I think the default is about 12 you will start to see dark areas like this because the uh, ray tracing or the light ray has uh, surpassed the bounce um, the maximum bounce amount here so you want to increase that to something like uh, maybe I don't know 25 you may still have some dark spots if you still have that you can uh, increase that uh, to something I don't know something that works for you but uh, remember the more light paths you add, the more samples you add, or maximum bounces you add, uh, the slower the render might uh, might be. But uh, yeah, uh, around 100 is enough, and uh, it doesn't slow down uh, the render times uh, that much. Or you can just keep it, keep them down, say something like 50, and just reduce the uh, blade count or the density. So if I have this to something like five, 500, you see then uh, we won't have that, uh, we won't need that many bounces. Uh, let's go back to EV for a second here. Okay, so this is the asphalt version, but uh, if you scroll, if you go down, you will see that uh, there is a, a road type option here. So I can change this from uh, road type, from the type one to type two, where I'm seeing this dirt road uh, like this. Now, the great thing about this is that uh, I can even just go into edit mode edit this path or just delete everything and uh, draw a new one and I'll be good simple as that 
I can even draw another one and still be okay. Let me just stick to one like that. So this also comes, uh, this setup also comes with a, a path, a rock, a rock path, that an extra rock path that I added in. So this is just letting you draw a path of uh, pebbles like that or rocks like that. You can increase the stone count or reduce it. I, it's a nice, th I, I just added it in there just to, I don't know, make it, make this part. Okay, so another thing I, uh, I wanted to talk about is if you have, say, something like, uh, let me see, let me use my asset library. You can, links are in the description if you want to get uh, the asset library, which is my add-on for uh, importing stuff. It, has, it works like the asset browser, but uh, I, th I find it more, comp much, much, much more easier to access my stuff. Uh, so let me grab a ground object that I have, uh, something like this, add it to my scene. It's just a surface uh, with uh, some materials to use this as my ground and uh, let me just hide it for a second I, I have my path now I can add a shrink wrap modifier and I just select the ground surface as uh, the surface like that and you can see how this is projected it's not projecting correctly but what I can do is now change the wrap method from uh, nearest point to project uh, so that I can project directly onto the surface uh, you might see these artifacts here or whatever these are uh, let me just Let's first change this to studio random take get rid of the wireframe all right so you can see how that is creating a lot of weird stuff i uh, can change the axis to z so that is only projecting in the z axis and uh, nothing in the y and uh, so that is just projecting directly in the z axis like uh downwards uh, why are my annotations not working i'm not sure anyway so yeah then i can just drag this down so you can see how our path is still going through the road a bit uh, sorry the ground a bit so i can just uh, change the offset and now if i turn on the geometry nodes stuff so let's say i turn on the rocks you can see let me reduce the density something like 50 or 20 and uh, turn on the grass as well maybe reduce the density to a hundred and you can see and I maybe I can change the road type back to that one and yeah so I'll be making updates to this road maybe add some rocks on the side larger rocks on the side uh, so that uh, you don't see the cutout uh, cutout area of uh, the road but uh, anyway, if you want to get this project, I'll be, just go to the links in the description or go to Blender Everything, a free geometry nodes uh, area. Click on the geometry nodes. As you can see, I'll be adding more uh, geometry node setups. And uh, that's where you will find uh, your geometry nodes uh, setup. You can see a breakdown of how everything works. And uh, yeah, so thank you.